My name is John Pignetti, and I'm proud to uh, speak about Walter Kiesling Sr., who happened to be the first 50-year member of the New High Park Fire Department. I'm related to Walter. He was my stepfather's father. He was a lifelong resident of New High Park. His parents owned the Kiesling Hotel, which was the old Nassau Inn. He organized Protection Education. Engine Company 2, he was a charter member there, and then his son followed in his footsteps uh, and joined Enterprise Engine Company. And he was the first 50-year member, he was very proud. He, it was all about service to the community, and you know, he, being a lifelong member of New High Park, it was important to do stuff, and it was different back then as it is today. Hi, I'm ex-chief John Pignetti from Enterprise Engine Company number one, and I'm here to speak on Honorary Chief Milton G. Baird. Milton is the longest serving member of the New High Park Fire Department before he passed. He served for 75 years. In that time, he joined in 1929, and he served as captain of Enterprise Engine Company, and he always mentored the younger members of the company and the department. And in 2004, the Enterprise Engine Company decided that they would like to start a Milton G. Bear Award, which would be given to members of the department for their service, not necessarily with fire matters, but their service to the department for members under five years of time. He was just a good guy. He, he, he was the guy that everybody talked to, everybody liked. He never had a bad word to say about any, anything. And he knew New Hyde Park like the back of his hand. He, he grew up here as a lifelong member. He was a mailman in town. So he really meant a lot to the fire department and New Hyde Park. My name is Stanley Mokoleski. I'm, on, I'm here on behalf of Mayor DeVane. My father, Stanley Butch Mokoleski longtime resident of New Hyde Park and former chief of the New Hyde Park Volunteer Fire Department. My father was born and raised in New Hyde Park. He joined the department in 1942, uh, joining the rescue squad, becoming second lieutenant, first lieutenant, finally company captain, and served for several years as the chief of the department. I talked to my father many times before he uh, retired to it's called Lake Okeechobee, Florida. I asked them, Dad, you've been with the fire department, chief, he helped me get into the rescue squad after I came home from the army in 1966. And I asked them, Dad, you spent so many years with the department, the fires, the S rescue calls, the 0300 calls, the phone constantly ringing, you, you must, you must be a hero um, to me and everyone in Hyde Park. He said, it was the guys and the ladies of the department that were the real heroes that worked, put in their time, many hours every week with the ambulance calls, the fires, and all the other um, meetings that had to do with the volunteer fire department in Hyde Park. My name is uh, Paul Sokol. I'm an ex-chief out of the Active Book and Ladder Company, New York Park Fire Department, and I'm here to represent a good friend of mine, Laszlo, as we like to call him, Les Cunn. Uh, Les joined the department in 1932. He served 50 years in the department. Um, he never rose to uh, any rank of officer in the company. Um, Les preferred to be behind the scenes on a lot of uh, activities, and he would always be there. Um, all hours of the day and night for the company. Um, very active in both the hook and ladder company and then later on in the department he got very active with the police unit and he rose through the ranks of the police unit. Les was a very uh, behind the scenes gentleman in the company but he was a uh, member that um, a lot of guys looked up to. Uh, Les in particular uh, befriended me and a good friend of mine Eddie Powers when we were younger and he took us under our wings, under his wings. And uh, he uh, mentored us uh, and actually was one of the inspirations for me in, uh, to join the department. And uh, he kept us in line and he was very active also with the termites and the, uh, bowl and the uh, softball team. 
He loved going to uh, the, the racing tournaments and the uh, softball games and tournaments, and he liked to support the members, and he was always a very good uh, supporter of all the uh, activities and, and organizations in the department. My name is Richard Kern. I'm an ex-chief from the Estate Engine Company number three. I'm here tonight to talk about uh, Honorary Chief and Department Chaplain Leon Correll, a 65-year member of the department. Uh, around the, the late 1930s, early 1940s, the area of North New High Park was rapidly developing and uh, many new homes were being built. And it was about this time that Leon Correll moved his family from New York City out to the suburbs. Uh, Leon worked in, uh, for a large insurance company in Manhattan and uh, he, his desire was to bring his family out, out to the suburbs and to the country. Around the same time, a group of about 40 uh, men were starting to talk about fire protection in the north end of Zuhai Park, which again, as I said, was rapidly developing. And they petitioned the fire district for the formation of a new fire company. Uh, the name of the company was the Estates Engine Company Number no. 3. Leon Carell was one of those 40 members, a charter member, and, and really his whole life in New York Park was spent as a firefighter. In addition to his duties in the department, he was also a chaplain, uh, actually a deacon, at Notre Dame uh, Roman Catholic Church in New York Park. In the department, Leon could always be uh, depended upon to, to uh, perform his chaplain duties, uh, prayers at department dinners and company and department functions, but also for visiting the sick. Um, in, a, in, in those days, if, if you, you were sick or if you were hurt in a fire, you would you could expect to get a visit from Leon for some encouragement, but also for $25 cash, which was used to to kind of offset the burden, which at the time $25 was a, was a, a nice sum to receive uh, at a time of need. Leon was instrumental right till his last days in the company operation. Uh, he, he was adored by the department members and the company members. Uh, and we certainly do miss him, but he will uh, forever be in our, in our hearts and in our thoughts. My name is John Willis. I'm ex-chief ex of the Active Hook and Ladder Company of the Noy Park Fire Department, and I'm here to introduce you to Alfonso Rabano. He entered the department in 1943, served as captain in 1963. In 1993, he got his 50-year membership, and he also served as company treasurer, treasurer and uh, was also a treasurer for the fire district. To the company, he was always a senior member in, in, in company, and as being treasurer, he was uh, responsible for all the company's money. And uh, all, all the guys had to do was, when they wanted to get something, and say, Al, do we have enough money? And he'd go, we got it. So he, he was very well liked and a very good guy. Hi, my name is Cheryl Nowak, and I am representing my father, Richard B. Nowak, who was a 71-year member of Protection Engine 2. He was a captain and an honorary chief in the fire department. My dad joined the department in 1946, um, shortly after getting back from World War II. And he joined the department because he loved the sense of community. He loved New High Park. He was a lifetime member of New High Park community. He was born and raised here. And he wanted to continue to give back to the community. My father loved the fact that all of his nephews also became members of the fire department and it just became um, a family event for all of us. It was something where, you know, every weekend there was a tournament or there was something going on in the fire department and it was just one big happy family and um, it just became a really important part of my life as well. Um, my dad also was an active member of the racing team when he first joined. Um, back in 46, 47, and then later on when he couldn't race anymore, he became an official on the course, and he did that for 57 years, he was an official. So it was something that he loved. He was officially known also as, as Red Flag, and everybody in the fire department knew him as Uncle Richie, so he was fondly known as that. So it was nothing but good memories for he and for my entire family. 
is Reed Sackowich. I am the son of George Sackowich. My father was in the fire department 58 years, joining in 1947. He was an ex-captain of Protection Engine Company Number 2. He was the president of Protection, as well as a um, honorary chief of the department for his 50 years of service. My dad's grandfather was a member, actually a charter member, starting the fire department. His dad, my dad, then his three sons, and now um, grandson and granddaughter are all members of the uh, fire department. Protection is known as a family, and we were one big family as well. Hi, my name is Gary Stecker. I'm from the West, I'm an ex-captain of the West Isa Fire Department. I'm a 37-year member of that department. I'm speaking on behalf of Frank Bubbles Nowakowski. He joined the fire department in 1948. He became a captain of the Protection Engine Company in 1957. And in 1961, he became the chief of the department. As long as I know, he, his brother was a member before him. And he joined because his brother was a member of the fire department. And his love for racing was one of the reasons, too, he joined. He raced for many years, and then he also spent his, he dedicated his life to going to all the tournaments and, and enjoying state tournaments and doing other aspects of the fire department. I, uh, I'm Honorary Chief Vinnie Kelly. I belong to the Active Hook and Ladder Company, number one incorporated. I'm here to give you a little bio about the former member, department member, John Jaranzik. John joined the fire department in 1949 and hit his 50th anniversary in 1999. Unfortunately, John passed away with 55 years of service in 2004. John was a unique individual. He always had a smile on his face. He was like a Henny Youngman, always had the one-liner jokes. He kept guys laughing. He was just a fun guy to be around. John, what he meant to the department. John was like the social director. He was a, uh, he would always be one of the first ones to run the social events when the, uh, the hall upstairs was always busy with parties and rackets and John would be the first one to take the bull by the horns and run the events. My name is Roger Sackwich, and tonight I'm representing uh, John P. Malinsky, who was a member of the New York Park Fire Department from 1949 to 2021, which is 72 years. Uh, he was the commissioner from, well, first he was a captain from 1960. He was chief of the department in 1970, and a commissioner from 1972 to 2007, which is 37 years. Always called Mo, no one called him John, the chief commissioner, they always called him Mo, that was his nickname. And I believe even his children called him Mo. And being a, a very active member of uh, Protection Energy Company and the department as chief and commissioner, John's uh, effect on fire department was the same effect he had on life. John was a winner, he always played to win. And when he played to win, you had to have the best equipment, the best people, you had to have the fastest people, and he made sure we did. Through his reign, he lowered the age to join the fire department so we could get more young members in from 21 to 18, which made a tremendous difference. He put up actually a waiting list and lowered the age to get into the fire department. Uh, he always replaced the equipment long before we thought we needed it. He would start, we had the newest trucks, the newest equipment. He went to shows, he made sure that we uh, knew um, the best radios and things like that. And they like said it was all because he was a winner and any team he was on, he wanted to win. Hi, I'm Tom Smith. I'm an ex-chief of the New Hyde Park Fire Department. And I'm honored today to speak to you about 50-year member Ralph Cappiello. Ralph Cappiello joined the active hook and ladder company of the New Hyde Park Fire Department in 1950. He rose to the ranks, was a very active member of the company and the department, serving twice as a captain and five years as a chief, ultimately serving as chief of the department in 1971 and 1972.
Ralph was a senior member of the company when I joined, and Ralph was tremendously respected for his, his leadership and his knowledge of the rules and regulations. Uh, Ralph was often known in company meetings to question officers on, on what they were doing. You know, his famous quotes was, Mr. Chairman, on a question. Uh, Ralph was also very, very engaged in the New Hyde Park community, serving for many years uh, in Little League Baseball. Hi, my name is Peter Kaczynski, uh, and I'm here to talk about Hank Kaczynski, my father, Henry. He was a 54-year member of the uh, New Hyde Park Fire Department. He joined Active Hook and Ladder Company, rose to the positions of lieutenant and captain, and he was an honorary chief by his 50-year membership and passed away in 2008 with 54 years in this department. It meant a lot to my father Hank and our family. He was always active in their drills. He was always with the parades, involved with the memorial committee, and he definitely liked to put his uniform on all the time. It also meant a lot to our family because I joined after him, and now my son Brian is in the department, and we also have a lot of friends and family members, and my nephews joined, and my brother-in-law Mark. Hello, I am Dan Perker, ex-captain from the Active Fruit Ladder Company Number One. I'm here to introduce John First, 55-year member of the North Park Fire Department. John entered the department in 1956. In 1964, he became captain of Hook and Ladder. In 1986, he became chief of the fire department. In 2006, John achieved his 50 years in his department. Overall, before he died, he served a total of 55 years in the department. John was very involved with the fire department, not just at the Hook and Ladder Company. John also served as the department treasurer, was actively involved with the termites organization, and was also secretary of the North Park Fire Department Exempts Association. In addition, it was the end of his career here in the department, John served as the department chaplain. John was always loving, caring for everybody in the department, and everyone loved and respected him back. John, fire department was basically everything, you know, outside of his family. Um, was always there for the termites, talking for them, always there at department meetings, department functions, uh, very involved with the rescue, with the latter half of his tenure, uh, helping out with fire calls, rescue calls, and uh, it just, it meant a lot to him to be a part of this organization. Hi, I'm uh, Ernie Gentile, I'm the fire commissioner here in the New Hyde Park Fire District. Uh, I'm here to really talk about my dad, Thomas Gentile, a 50-year member of the uh, New Hyde Park Fire Department, specifically engine company, uh, protection engine company. He was in the fire department starting 1957, and uh, he uh, only passed away in 2008, so he did 51 years of service here. And he was a captain in protection engine company in 1964. He was an honorary, uh, appointed honorary chief in 2007. He was on this house when they built it. He was uh, on the uh, committee that uh, uh, with some of his uh, colleagues in 1987, and his wife still resides here. He's also uh, very involved in the termites. He always uh, had a, a, a liking for that and uh, did a lot of community service along with them and the firehouse here. Well, to our family, the New Park Fire Department is our family because uh, he started here and, you know, we didn't know much about it, but he, uh, he um, always took us here for any functions that they had. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, they used to have corn parties and the parking lot here all the time. And then, um, you know, I'm, I'm one of eight kids, so I have six sisters and a brother. And he, uh, he always brought us here. It was at, like our little community. Good evening, I'm Vic Selitsky, senior. Honorary Chief of the New York Park Fire Department. I'm representing Leon Lubowicki. He came into the department in 1960. He served for 59 years, 
Leon was captain of the company in 1964 and 1975. He was on a committee with the first diesel engine in this truck, in this department. Leon was a great representative. He was there whenever you needed him. We used to call him the milkman because he delivered milk at the time. So he was, he was always around because he was always there early in the morning, but late in the afternoon he'd be around for us. He helped the company a lot. If you needed help, he'd help you. Great man. My name is Robert Picciano Jr. I'm going to speak on behalf of my father, Robert Picciano Sr. My father joined the New York Park Fire Department on January the 3rd, 1961. He served the New York Park Fire Department for 55 years. He originally joined the Estates Engine Company Number 3, where he filled the ranks of firefighter, lieutenant, and eventually captain. After his term in State's engine, he transferred over to the rescue company where he filled the ranks of firefighter, lieutenant, captain, deputy chief, and ultimately the chief of the department. I've been asked what the New Park Fire Department meant to my dad, and I would say it meant being part of a brotherhood, a brotherhood that served the people of New Park and Nassau County a brotherhood of pure excellence. That's what it meant to my father. Henry, Hank, Biden. I've been in the fire department 61 years now. I've been the second lieutenant, first lieutenant. I've been uh, the honorary chief at this time I, I am. And I was president for many years with the White Park Consent Association. I was president of it. I took over some people's, uh, when they got sick, uh, I would take over and run the meetings. So, it's been all fun. Hello, my name is ex-chief Patrick Murphy at the White Park Fire Department, engine number two detection. I'm a 61 year member up here and we're celebrating our anniversary of 61 years. It's a pleasure over here. I was at the fire department to keep me going. I wasn't know it is, but the fire department took my whole life. I've held other positions. I've been at the county fire commission. I've been at fire department liaison with Tyler Thompson, and now we're starting to go to the past president of the Nassau County uh, Fire District Association. In 1961, I took a new department. So I came from the city. Just got out of the service in Open Sam. Fire Park's looking for keeping busy. It's gonna smile here. Do I park by the love? The whole block knows me. I love going back here because it's very social with it and it's a friendly atmosphere. And it's, it's the day 61 years I came in, it's unbelievable what's transpired in this community. Hi, my name's Alan Newell, an honorary chief of New Life Park from Enterprise. I'm representing Bob Carlin. He joined the fire department in 1962. He served as captain in 1969. Was a member of the memorial committee for many, many years. Served on the dinner committee. And he spearheaded the 50-year member award that we're working on right now. And he's been a good friend of mine for 55 years. He was always there to help the company. And if you had a problem, you could go to him and he really helped you out. Hi, I'm Edgar Teepe. I'm a member of the Protection Engine Company. I joined the New High Park Fire Department in September of 1962. Uh, I'm an ex-captain of Protection. I'm an honorary chief of the department. I've served as secretary treasurer for many of the organizations. I'm currently on the memorial committee and chairman of the subscription committee and also I've been department treasurer for the last 30 years. I drive the ambulance most, most of the day. I'm also a, a member of the racing team, which we call the Termites. I've been a member of the Termites since 19, January of 1963. I was always interested in fire departments. I used to ride the fire club on my bicycle. And when I turned 18, I wrote a letter to the chief and they sent officers for protection to my house and here I am.
How long have you lived in New High Park and what does this town mean to you? Pretty much it means everything to me. My parents moved here in 1950. I married my wife in 1965 and moved to South 3rd Street. And I've been in my house on South 9th Street for over 50 years. Uh, I've really never been active in village politics or the village itself because I've spent 100% of my off hours in the fire department going to fire calls and other organizations in the department. Personally, I think it's just the length of time that I've been active and I try and stay active. At this point in this year, I've made over 500 calls. But I enjoy it, and as long as I can stay active, I'm going to stay. Hi, I'm Dennis Finnegan. I'm with a fireman for 57 years in New Hyde Park. I joined Rescue, and when the calls, for 28 years I was in Rescue, the, the calls became too much, so I transferred over to Stace Engine number 3, and I'm very happy there for another 28 years. So, uh, you know, my, my life has really been centered around New Hyde Park Fire Department. When I was a rescue, I served on the ambulance and truck committees for new trucks, knowing different specifications. I, I when I transferred to Estates, I worked on the Estates Engine Company's uh, new truck when they had the 3D truck. My family is fire department oriented locally and as a little kid, I used to chase the, the, the horns would go off and I'd go down to the firehouse, right? I got married. My brother-in-law, Carl Bullmeister, was ex-chief here twice. And uh, my wife supports me 100% on the fire department. Good evening, I'm Vic Solitsky, honorary chief of the New York Fire Department. I joined the fire department November 2nd, 1966. And I've been here for many years. I enjoy this place. I do my best to help everybody. I've been uh, on a committee for the tr new truck that we have right in back of me right now. And we served as line officer for a couple of years. I enjoy serving with the men and helping the young guys. I also was chief driver for many years. My favorite memory is the fact that I'm third generation. My grandfather was in protection, my father was in enterprise, and my two sons were in enterprise. So that makes four generations of Solinskis there. Hi, my name's Al New. I got 55 years in Enterprise Engine Company. I joined the company on March 7, 1967. I'm the former two-time captain. I was a First Lieutenant, Second Lieutenant, Chief Driver. I've been on the Memorial Committee probably 35 years, the Dinner Committee, I'm the Vice President of the Association. And what made you want to join the Fire Department? Uh, civic, civic pride, you want to help out your community and give it a little life. Hello, my name is Mike Dolan. I'm a 54 year member of the North Park Fire Department. And, and, and in the fire department, I held the office as officer of Engine 171 for three years. After that, I became a chief, deputy chief, and chief uh, from 1985 to 1990. After that, was uh, my first uh, endeavor of, as a as a responsibility of the fire department. And after that, I became commissioner from 2010 to 2014, the five-year term as a commissioner. And I, after that, I became a delegate to the 1st Battalion Fire Commission. I held the rank from secretary, treasurer, and two terms as chairman of the board for the 1st uh, Battalion Fire Commission. I'm involved with the uh, Wounded Warriors. I helped start the Wounded Warriors in 2004 in Stone Mountain's Fire Department. And every year, I, I go with them to the, 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 the South. Washington, Walter Reed, and Bethesda Hospital to visit the Wounded Warriors. I am also a chartered member of the Elm Society of Nassau County, and I also help with the uh, museum, the Fireman's Museum, the Children's Museum, and, East, and, and the Burns Center. I was on a board for the Burns Center for, 
Joint Center Lease Medal for uh, uh, Nassau County Medical Center. As being a, and also a, a chartered member of the Elmo Society. I'm very proud of that. And I'm also one of the original EMTs in the fire department in 1974. Uh, the 12 uh, individuals who were outside the rescue company became EMTs for the fire department to help the fire department go good. I've been in the fire department over 50 years. My wife is a lady's auxiliary member over 30 years. She was past president six times. I have two sons that were in the fire department if, uh, and uh, the latter. One was there for 21 years, and the other was there for 18 years. As of now, they moved out and uh, on their way, but they had the experience. And if, from their experience in the fire department, my son is a city fireman. My name is Willie Titterton, a um, member of the fire department for 50 years. And initially joined the fire department to um, help my fellow human being out his time of need. A couple of beers, a couple of cheeseburgers, a couple of laughs along the way. I had a great time doing it. Met some wonderful people. Um, honorary chief now used to be, I was uh, ex-captain out of the state engine company. And um, they handed me a project one day, an old fire truck that about half a fire department took the thing apart. And myself and Dennis um, managed to put the thing together. Got it running, we take the shows all over the place and um, get trophies for it. Hi, my name is Michael B. Levy. Um, joined the state's engine company in August of 1969. I had looked around from the firehouse. As a young person, I used to ride my bike over there. In uh, 1969, I approached my neighbor, who was a member, Robert Ryan, and asked him how to join. And uh, in August, I did join. I held the positions of chief driver up through captain in 1974. Uh, during that time, I was proud to have been part of a group that restarted the termites drill team. Ronnie Sackwich and other members. In 1986, I transferred to Protection Engine 2, where I've been since and has held the position of secretary for about the last 10 years. I was born here, I was born in White Park. Um, sense of community, sense of camaraderie. With, uh, everyone that's in the fire department, a great bunch of guys. Probably um, a few memories of starting the drill team and then having my son. Michael joined in 1995, also a member of the Termites, and went on to become a very winning team, and I was part of that also. Hi, I'm Fred Metzeringer, member of the White Park Fire Department at Enterprise and your company number one. This is my 53rd year, I start my 54th year in August. Uh, I've been on many committees, I never climbed the rack, I've never climbed the officers ranked because of the job that I had didn't allow that to happen because I had uh, for various ships. My father was in it, he joined in 1955 and I grew up in it, so it was just something you did because all my friends, their fathers were in it and they joined, so I joined as well. And I look back and I never uh, regretted that decision at all. I loved it. And what's your favorite memory from being in the fire department? I would say having to start uh, Drill Team Radio, Nassau Suffolk in New York State, uh, it came out of a need to hear the uh, track announcements on FM radio when I designed the system that made it work. And from that we went on to streaming live video events throughout the state now. My name is Edward Waldron. I'm a new high park firefighter for over 50 years. I belong to Engine 171. Ex-captain, lieutenant, chief driver, and uh, deputy chief. The reason I joined is my brother was a fireman, and uh, it looked like a lot of, a lot of fun, and it's a lot of education. In it. I meant a lot. You know, we, we learned a lot. My entire career was based on the volunteer fire department, I'm a hazmat specialist for the gasoline companies, so I was able to handle all sorts of emergencies. It's meant a lot to me because my wife also works here. My name is Ron Sackwich. I joined the New Park Party Department on September 1st, 1970, uh, at which time I was a member of engine number two. Uh, I rose through the ranks of chief driver through captain of protection 
in 1976. Uh, I went on to become the president of Protection Engine Number 2 uh, 15 years ago. Uh, I am also now presently the vice chairman of the Board of Fire Commissioners in New York Park. My grandfathers and then my father were members of New York Park Fire Department. So when it came time that I was old enough to join, I joined immediately. Uh, after that, my two brothers joined, and now my nephews and nieces are all members of protection. It's a brotherhood of being together and doing something to help other people, yet also feel that you've done something to accomplish that goal. It's a steady community, it's a good community, and that's why I continue to be a resident here. I feel very proud of what we've done with the fire department in these 52 years I've been a member, and I hopefully continue to be proud in years to come. Hello, my name is Robert Farina. I've been a member of the New High Park Fire Department since September of 1970. I've uh, lived in New High Park all my life. And I've been fortunate enough to work in town part of the time, which aided to being a good fireman and being able to do and help the neighborhood. My father and brother were involved in the village, so my ties to the village in New High Park are strong. Very happy that I was able to make it 50 years in this department. What is your favorite memory from being in the fire department? To help, you know, the community and whatnot, and, uh, and people that I grew up with. Uh, it was a great time, and uh, the camaraderie ship and you know, whatnot. You know, uh, help the community was basically the primary. Hi, my name is John Tassiello. Enterprise engine, Enterprise engine Company number one. I joined the department and company in 1971. I've been a um, lieutenant and I've been a captain in 1977. I've um, rose to the rank of deputy chief. I was chief of the department in 1999-2000. Um, um, I'm currently the treasurer of the department. Um, I've also held um, many other um, ranks. I am a lieutenant in the fire police. I am also the treasurer of the department. I've been on many committees that were um, we won uh, what they call service awards for. We've had a review committee when we had a bad fire. I've been on that committee. I've been on the 100th anniversary committee when the department um, celebrated its 100th anniversary. Um, just recently I was on the COVID uh, volunteer committee which we helped the chief of the department develop policies and procedures so to keep the department safe and still have a response. Um, outside of the department, I am also a treasurer in the 1st Battalion Chiefs. I hold the position of president of the Fire Chiefs Council of Nassau County. I've been a member of the softball team, bowling team, um, racing team, and it's been a great uh, honor to be on all those uh, positions and all those teams. I joined the company in, I was still in high school in 1971. So I got into the department in July. I graduated in June. Um, a friend of mine, uh, John Bonaby, uh, joined. Uh, we, we had, uh, we were good friends, and he worked for um, a member that was a member of Enterprise. And um, at that time, we used to do a lot of outings, a lot of social events, go to Shea Stadium and things like that. And uh, when we turned 18, I ended up being ex-chief Belfort, gave it told us that we had to end up uh, joining the department. And I didn't know um, what the fire department was about because I moved here in 1967 and um, didn't know it was even a volunteer department. Um, but we did join and um, I'm very glad I did. I, I know it's a cliche, but when you do help somebody in their worst day, um, it, it's really rewarding. It, it really is. Um, but uh, that, that's the good part of being a volunteer fire. My name is uh, Vinnie Kelly, honorary chief. I belong to the active hook and ladder company number one in the New High Park Fire Department. I joined in December 7th, 1971. I probably go back a little further than that because my father was an active member from 1955, so I've been coming around the firehouse since I'm five years old. In 1968, I joined the Navy, and upon getting separated from the Navy, I came back to Noy Park and I joined the company. The following year I was elected chief driver and I held the positions of second lieutenant, 
first lieutenant, and I was captain of the company from 1975 to 1976. The fire department has meant to me, aside from the great firefighting aspect of all the members involved, is the uh, camaraderie. It's uh, second to none. Anytime I've ever asked for a favor, people were there instantaneously, they didn't have to ask twice. Great bunch of guys. It's been my pleasure to serve with the past and present members of this great department. My name is Harold Higley. I've been in the New High Park Fire Department for 51 years almost. I joined the fire department for May 2nd, 1972. I wanted to join the fire department because I had members that I knew that were in the fire department. I said, how about joining? So after I got sworn in, I became a member of Protection Agent Company number two. I've held every line officer rank. In 1986 to 1990, I became chief of the fire department, and I became chief again in 2000, and then department again. I've been in New York Park for 72 and a half years, and I am a great person in New York Park. I hold a lot of things with a lot of people. I know a lot of people, and that was, this is my hometown, and I love it. Hi, my name is Joseph Chuinski. I joined the New High Park Fire Department in 1972. Uh, I held the officer's line of chief driver twice, first lieutenant and captain in 82. And I joined because I really wanted to give back to the community. I knew a lot of guys in this company, this is why I picked protection. And over the years, I've made a lot of friends, old friends and new friends. And I hope to continue on and keep doing what we're doing. If we had to have a paid fire department, it would be a lot more expensive to live here. So, it's great that we have a volunteer fire department. My name is John Panetti. I'm the next chief from Enterprise Engine Company Number 1. I've been a member here since May of 1972 and I'm celebrating my 50 years this year. During my time here, I've served as all line positions of Enterprise four times. Started in 1978, 88, and two other times after that. I've always uh, done my best. I've made many friends here in New High Park. And it's been a pleasure and an honor to serve the community. I've always put Enterprise first in whatever I do here. And I really support the company. It's, I'm very proud of it. And i just like to see it succeed. And all the friends I've made here, through the years, it's been really been a great experience. Hello, my name is Paul Gurner. I'm a 50-year member of the New York Park Fire Department. I joined in 1972, and I was uh, captain of the Estates Engine Company Number Three in 1977, and then I went on to become the chief of the fire department in 1987. Through this job, I became a Nassau County Fire Marshal. I retired. Uh, for that 2007 and also since then with the knowledge I learned in the fire department the fire marshal's office I was teaching uh, radiological terrorism classes for about 12 years and now I'm fully retired. The reason I joined the fire department uh, is a little different than a lot of people. I, growing up I never even thought of it actually and uh, I went to service 68 when I got out in 1972 all my friends had joined while I was gone so it was a simple thing of that's where all my friends were, so I went down and I joined, and then because of that, I wound up getting a career in the fire marshal, and everything took off from there. My name is Roger W. Sackledge, and I've been a member of the Park Fire Department for exactly 50 years. In Protection Engine, I was second lieutenant, first lieutenant, and captain, and then I was a commissioner of the department for about 20 years. I joined it in 1972, uh, what made me join it was basically we grew up around the fire department. My family, my neighbors, I believe on the block I lived on, there were only 10 houses and there were eight firefighters in those 10 houses. So we watched them come and go, own up, and always wanted to be a member. I like helping people, and I feel being a volunteer allowed me to help people when they were possibly needing that assistance. Fires, emergencies. I feel each time I respond, I go there and I feel I make the situation better by helping the people using my knowledge, all different things.
try to get their lives back to normal like it was before the emergency.